What is the price for your blind eye? The Batman is one of the most anticipated movies of 2022 and today we're going to take a look at just how much the film cost to make, how it utilized new technology to cut costs and how much Robert Pattinson got paid. I'm vengeance. Starting back in January 2020, the film has had huge production problems and multiple delays as filming started just as the pandemic was happening. Filming was initially meant to finish at the end of 2020, but it didn't finish until March 2021. That's 14 months of production hell. But despite all the delays and shutdowns, the hype for the film is growing rapidly as we approach the release of the film on March 3rd, 2022. The Batman had a production budget of $100 million, which compared to recent superhero movies is relatively small. Spider-Man No Way Home had a budget of $200 million, The Suicide Squad had a budget of $185 million, and even looking back at previous Batman films, The Dark Knight, which released in 2008, had a budget of $185 million, and The Batman Begins that released in 2005 had a budget of $150 million. Wow, Miss Keen, that's a lot of money for someone like you. Two million dollars! Looking at the trailers of the film, the Batman is looking to be just as much of a spectacle as many of the other superhero movies. So how were they able to make such a big action film with half the budget? Well, taking a look at the behind the scenes, we can see much of the film has been done practically with little CGI. They've also taken advantage of LED screens and virtual production. This technology has been used in recent shows such as The Mandalorian and The Book of Boba Fett. Using LED screens means they can project a virtual background on the screen instead of having to use green screen and keying that out in post. This allows multiple things to happen that help save cost. Time is cut in post-production. Lighting the scene can be done in a fraction of the time as these LED screens can help light a scene instead of having to light a scene to reduce green spillage. Less time is spent setting up and changing scenes as you can change a scene at the click of a button with these LED screens. So in keeping the Batman practical or as practical as possible with these virtual productions, they've been able to save a bunch of money and time that can be used in other aspects of the film to make it as high quality as possible with half the budget. Now taking a look at how much a film needs to make to be successful and encourage sequels, we need to figure out how much a movie needs to make to break even. So as a general rule, marketing distribution can come in at two or three times the production budget. With The Batman, it has a budget of $100 million, so it will be needing to make at minimum $200 million to break even. Looking at current projections of the film's ticket sales, it's estimated that The Batman will have an opening weekend of over $100 million. To put that into perspective, only Spider-Man No Way Home has had an opening weekend of over $100 million during this pandemic era. The next closest would be Venom Let There Be Carnage, which had an opening weekend of $90 million. It ended up grossing over $500 million at the worldwide box office. So looking at those numbers and comparing them to Spider-Man No Way Home, the only other movie in this bracket, which has earned so far $1.8 billion, we can estimate that the Batman's gonna make between $500 million and $1.8 billion, which is a big difference. <laughs> but in any regard is a lot more than the $200 million needed to break even. So if a sequel were to take place, what would that look like for star Robert Pattinson? Pattinson was reportedly paid $3 million for this role, which is not quite as large as the huge eight-figure salaries we've seen of recent years go to lead superhero roles like Robert Downey Jr. or Tom Holland. But taking into consideration this is his first time in this role, it's understandable. Just looking at those previously mentioned, Robert Downey Jr. only made $500,000 for the first Iron Man movie, and Tom Holland made the same for his first solo Spider-Man movie. This $3 million salary will likely see a big jump if the Batman is successful and a sequel is ordered, which is not an unlikely scenario as Matt Reeves, the director of the Batman, has already spoken about his hope of making a Batman trilogy and what that could look like. So now that we know how much Robert Pattinson has made in the Batman, check out this video if you want to know exactly how much Tom Holland made in all three Spider-Man movies as well as his recent role in Uncharted. Spoiler alert, he didn't make much from his role in Uncharted. 